Good morning children. Today's session is meant for class 9 and 10 and we are going to discuss about clauses at a glance. Well, the subordinating clauses are of three kinds. Subordinating noun clause, subordinating adjective clause, subordinating adverb clause. Subordinating noun clause just works as a noun in a sentence and it begins with the, you know, uh, uh, conjunctions what, uh, how, which, uh, where, etc. And it just functions as a noun. So now what are the four functions of noun? Noun can be a subject in a sentence, it can be an object to a verb in a sentence, it can be a complement or it can be an object to a preposition. So one example of noun clause, uh, we do not know how he succeeded in exam. So what do we not know? How he succeeded, succeeded in exam? I, she does not understand what I taught her. So what doesn't she understand? What I taught her. Uh, he cannot make out what I said. What cannot he make out? What I said. So generally noun clause begins with the question why and just to identify why, what, how. You can put question with what, why, how and you can get the answer. Like you know, we do not know how he became a member of parliament. What do we not know? How he became a member of parliament. So this is subordinating noun clause and it does the function of a noun. Uh, she, she is going uh, to Delhi where she will meet uh, uh, her uncle. Now she is going to Delhi uh, where she will meet her uncle or you may call it um, yes uh, perhaps you can say that what I said is unknown to her. Uh, what is unknown to her? What I said. It is a noun clause. Subordinate adjective clause qualifies the noun and pronoun so it's, it works as an adjective and it begins with the adjective or you may call it the connectives like who, whose, whom, that, which, etc. It always begins with connectives like mm, this is the book which I purchased from the market. All that glitters is not gold. All is not gold, that glitters. So that glitters is adjective clause. I know the person who is next door to me. I know the person who is next door to me as an adjective clause because it is qualifying the noun person. Yes, another example. This is the card which was lying on the table. So which was lying on the table is subordinate, subordinate adjective clause or subordinate relative clause. Adverb clause. Adverb clause always functions as an adverb in a sentence. And what is the function of adverb? It modifies or it qualifies a verb or an adjective or another adverb. So it begins with the, you know, um, subordinate conjunctions like when, whenever, whoever, whatever, since, just then, as soon as, until, unless, as long as, etc. So all the adverbial clause begins with adverbial, adverbial conjunctions. And like one example, yes, one example I'm giving you, it, if it rains, we shall stay at home. So if it rains is subordinating adverbial clause, it gives the condition why we will, in what condition we will stay at home. I won't pay unless he sends me the request. So unless he, he sends me a request is a adverbial clause of condition because unless always talks about condition. So this is the way we can summarize by saying that a noun clause functions as a noun in a sentence. That means it can be a subject in a sentence. It can be an object to a verb in a sentence or it can be a complement or it can be an object to a preposition. There are four functions of noun. An adjective clause, particularly subordinating adjective clause or relative clause, function as an adjective in a sentence. And it is just like it begins with the connectives who, whose, what, that, etc. An adverbial clause, uh, subordinating adverbial clause begins with uh, adverbial conjunctions like what, when, how, whether, etc. It also begins with as soon as, as long as, as far as, until and unless. So that is how we summarize the three clauses 
and we go by defining clauses at a glance. Thank you very much.